I was introduced to the training almost uh, two years ago. A really good friend of mine that, uh, that spoke about it and uh, slowly had me attract to it. So I started uh, watching videos. And I remember the, fir the first video I watched um, and I thought, uh, wow, this is genius. It's just brilliant. Um, but then I noticed that I was also a little bit high. So, <laughs> uh, so I said, okay, probably it's because I'm like now I'm, uh, very high and it sounds so good, like everything. But then I, uh, I kept going back to it because I recognized this attraction which I couldn't uh, explain. And yeah, it was a slow process for me. Uh, like uh, every time I started to do more, uh, to be more interested, started to join uh, the community clarity calls and to join face-to-face uh, -face meetings in Israel. And then I decided to come here to Goa, which was a, a really big step for me because I remember the decision to do it uh, and it was nothing like any other decision I've made in my life because all my other decisions took so many preparations before I took them and so many thinking and uh, digging, we say in Hebrew. <laughs> uh, and this was so simple. Like I even don't, uh, didn't know what I'm doing. I just, I came to my boss and I said to him, okay, I'm going to India in three months for this thing I'm doing. <laughs> and yeah, and, and suddenly I'm here with not a lot of uh, thinking, just came uh, very open. And uh, I just uh, finished the 12 empowerments on Saturday. Uh, which was really amazing and uh, it's a very intensive uh, and profound training uh, that really opens up a lot, really, like it's, it's, still, it's still going. <laughs> and I'm sure it's just the beginning, it feels like this. Um, and yeah, it's really... Um, like the main thing that I can say that is very clear to me is that uh, I can give up the storytelling, uh, which was a really, a really present uh, part in everything that I did in my life, like to tell the story and see how this adds to the story of my life. And most of the time it just had no sense, like it made no sense. Um, like I could go through this experience and then see, okay, so let's, how, how can I, how can I integrate it to the story of my life? And it was such a hard uh, work to do it. Uh, yeah, and it's really relaxing to know that uh, uh, I, I don't have to work really it, it just it just feels like this it just feels like like um, like finish a day at work <laughs> so it's kind of similar the feeling the sensation that oh it's it's over but like million times more <laughs> releasing and um, and I really do feel that I have um, energy uh, that that really um, otherwise before I made the training really I, I put a lot of energy in in trying to tell myself stories and even though I was uh, I remember myself as an open person open to everyone around me um, Still, I, I always had the feeling that I have to maintain it somehow, to maintain this ide identity of being open 
and uh, and it was also a lot of work like being open is very natural but trying to maintain it and see every time when I'm in when I interact with someone to see okay am I open now am I enough open <laughs> And then I uh, used to like m make sure this person knows I'm open with him. <laughs> so it was also a lot of work. So uh, yes, um, it's really amazing and I'm grateful to, to have met this training, this beautiful um, um, support network of the four mainstays uh, yeah and it's amazing to be with you all of you so uh, thank you <laughs>